Joining us right now is Tractor Supply CEO Hal Lawton. And Hal, there are a lot of pandemic plays where these stocks saw a lot of activity, stores saw a lot of action, but that went away after people went back to their normal lives. That's not the situation that you have with Tractor Supply. Hi, Becky. Good morning, and uh, thanks for having me on the show. And thanks to our 50,000-plus team members for all they do every day. And to your point, we've had a fantastic last three years. As you just said, over 70% revenue growth in the last three years. Uh, big growth in 2020, big growth in 2021. And then on top of that, another remarkable year in 2022. Uh, and we would attribute it really to, first, our business model, uh, the market we participate in, the share we're gaining, the investments we're making in our life out here strategy, but also we're benefiting from a number of structural tailwinds, very different than a lot of the other pandemic plays. Rural revitalization is real. The millennial generation is moving to kind of the sunbelt uh, migration. And, uh, you know, we continue to see pet adoption pay dividends as well. It's a, it's a, it's a good time for rural America, and it's a good time for tractor supply. I noticed in the release you say that you continue to gain market share. Where, where, where are you stealing the market share from? Who do you compete with? You know, you mentioned pets. Are you competing with pet stores? Are you competing with Home Depots? Who do you, who do you look to? You know, you know, we're a lifestyle retailer. We sell everything from apparel to pet food to animal feed to agriculture equipment to seasonal and garden businesses. Uh, all really focused on that out here lifestyle. So we compete against thousands and thousands of different types of retailers. Uh, but really across the board, we're gaining share, uh, notably in categories like pet food and poultry. Poultry is a category that is uh, in its fourth year of just remarkable growth. Uh, in pet food, particularly in dry dog food, uh, we're growing two times the market in dollars and three times the market in poundage. And we're really serving, particularly during this kind of um, this uh, period of economic, uh, uh, macroeconomic activity we're living, almost like a club store in terms of, because we sell 40 to 50 pound bags of dog food. And uh, so, you know, across the board, our share gains, but I'd point to those two categories as examples of some real marked share gain. Wow. Um, gross margins were really strong, too. The gross margin increased 28 basis points. So you were able to raise prices even more than the rate of inflation? The team's done an excellent job navigating uh, um, kind of gross margin rate. Uh, it's our view that, that uh, inflation has peaked. Uh, we're seeing less cost of goods increases come in, both in frequency and also in magnitude. The freight market is starting to turn, uh, and we're optimistic that as we head into 2023, uh, inflation will begin to moderate. I expect it'll be very sticky, but we think it'll moderate. Uh, and in the midst of all that, you know, we've been able to navigate it very well between pricing and other actions to, uh, to maintain our, our margin structures, uh, both uh, for the year and for the quarter. Last couple of weeks, we've heard from some insurance companies that really got hit hard by that storm in late December that, that cut into their profits because they had so many uh, things that they had to cover, catastrophic losses. It, it actually helped you, that storm. What happened? You know, we're a needs-based retailer, and, and we're there for our customers in good times and certainly in hard times. And when that storm came through, the types of products we sell are well-suited to support our customers in those times, whether it's anything from salt uh, to heaters uh, to propane and heating, uh, um, heating fuel, uh, or even just, pellet, uh, even just uh, pet food and animal feed, uh, forage, all those sorts of things, heating blankets for horses, all those are sorts of things our customers need when the weather gets really cold and snowy to be able to maintain their pets, their animals, and their land and their homes.